As the sun shines on all of my glory My flaws don't look so bad at all What was I so afraid of? Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome and welcome back to Lox Lux Lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. So today I am back with another style with me. So let's get right into it. So my model today is Jayla Page and she asked if I could do her some soft locks. So that's what we're going to be doing today, some soft locks. So whenever I do any type of braids, faux locks or twist, I always start by pre-parting the hair. So I usually do three sections. I'll part ear to ear for the back section and then for the top half of the head, I will part down the middle and make that two sections. And then I'll start parting off my rows for the back and then just twisting them in flat twist. And I forgot to show you guys, but to smooth out my parts, I am using the Braid Formula Super Hold from Eben. This was my first time trying this one out. Um, It was all right. It did cause like some white buildup in some areas like if you use too much so it definitely smoothed the hair out good but i didn't like the build up factor i haven't always done the pre-parting method but i've been doing it a lot here lately and i actually really really like it it does take up a little time on the front end but i feel like on the back end of things you end up saving a lot of time i know personally when i braid or do faux locks i'm a rhythm type of person so once i get to braiding or once i get to wrapping for these faux locks i don't have to worry about stopping to part the hair again i also feel like it ensures that your parts and sections are cohesive in size and i also like doing it this way too because i feel like i get to make sure the hair is properly detangled before we get to braiding or twisting or any of that and here is how the back section looks after i have pre-parted everything and then for these bottom two rows, she asked if I could section them off kind of big just because she didn't want too many locks in like the back and nape of her head. So I'm doing that for her. And then for the soft locks, we are using the Bobby Boss New Locks in 36 inches. These are the extra long ones and she got them in the color 1B. And now I'm going to walk you through how I attach the soft locks. So I start by just parting off the section and then smoothing it out. And then I'm going to begin braiding her natural hair down in just like a simple plait and I braid down about two to three inches. And then I'm gonna take a crochet needle and put it through the loop of the soft lock. And then I'm gonna take one of the sections of that braid and crochet that faux lock onto that section. And then I'm going to continue braiding down. And I'll braid down like another inch or so, and then I'll twist all the way to the end. And twisting just saves you a little bit of time instead of braiding all the way down to the end. And I apologize you guys, I know my hands are slightly in the way, but hopefully you guys kind of understand and get a gist of what I'm doing. So I'm just walking you guys through another one, you know, just so you can see it again. And overall, I really like this method of adding the crochet lock mid braid instead of crocheting it through the base of the braid. I feel like it alleviates unnecessary tension at the roots. And it also makes it less bulky and flatter at the roots when you start wrapping. And then for wrapping, I prefer to use Spring Twist or Water Wave hair. So we're using Water Wave from this brand here. It's in 22 inches in the color 1B. So I cut the hair in half and then I use about one curl per faux lock to wrap. And I'll also make sure to fluff the hair before I start wrapping. 
If you don't fluff, you won't get as much coverage when you wrap and you'll end up having to use more hair. It'll slide, um, a bunch of things. So just make sure to fluff the hair first. So for wrapping, I start by crocheting the water wave hair through the base of the braid. And when I pull it through, I keep one end shorter than the other end. And then for the braid of her natural hair, I'm just going to fold it into itself. I see some stylists like crochet it and loop it through the base, but I try to keep it um, pretty easy. So when it's time to take it down, like the person can take it down themselves. And then I'm gonna take the shorter piece of the water wave hair and put it in the same hand that I have the braid and the faux lock. And I'm gonna take the longer piece of the water wave hair and begin wrapping around, making sure to keep that braid secure so it doesn't like unravel and unfold itself while I wrap. I also added just a few like bubbles, um, like you would do a butterfly lock for a little texture, not too many. Um, and yeah, I'm just wrapping. And I've seen so many like horror stories when it comes to faux locks when it's time to take them down. I have my own stories from when I've installed faux locks or soft locks myself. So I also made sure to explain to her how it was installed and walk her through how she's to take it down. And yeah, once you find your rhythm, this method is pretty easy. It's also, again, no tension at the roots and it's pretty flat at the roots as well. And so I'm just wrapping until I have passed all of her natural hair. If you run out of hair, you can also add in another piece to continue wrapping um, like I'm doing right here. I know I'm kind of almost out of frame, but that's what I'm doing right here, adding another piece just to ensure that I have passed her natural hair. And then when I reach the end of that water wave hair, I just secure it in a knot. And then those last little loose pieces, I just wrap them until I can't wrap anymore. And then I'll palm roll it to ensure that it's secure. And yeah, that's pretty much the full process on how I braid it down, attach the soft lock, and how I wrap and secure it. And so yeah, now I'll just let you guys watch me work through a few more.
And then for the finishing touches, I'm going to do her edges slash baby hair and I'm using the Style Factor Edge Booster. Then I'm going to foam her down using the Nairobi setting foam. And this just further helps set the hair, it helps set the parts. I also use it on the baby hairs and it just kind of makes everything kind of look set in place and smooth. Also depending on whatever product you use to smooth out your parts, if you notice any like white build up from the product, it also helps remove like that white shadow from um, the smoothing products. And then I'm just going to blow dry it on a warm to hot setting until all the foam has disappeared. And lastly, I'm just going to oil her scalp using this Protective Styles Oil from Talia Wahid. And here is the final look, you guys. It looks really good. Parts are really neat and clean. And yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all of my other social media platforms. Everything is listed in the end screen as well as down in the description box. And I will see you beautiful people in my next video. Bye.